the Asian connection, not that kind you perv, is what cemented Steven Seagal as an international action movie star. Then again, the one you thought of first no. is absolutely better than this shit. The movie begins in Cambodia, with Seagal wobbling into a restaurant and throwing his massive weight around. FATHER! It turns out he's a crime lord, but this rival crime lord is not having it. I should have squatted you when I have a chance. Come again. Seagal does what he does best, sitting down. Bruh. They decide to settle the score with a knife fight. Winner takes all. That means one of us has to die. That's the idea. The loser becomes worm food. They swing their knives, barely hitting each other. This goes on for quite a while. <laughs> this guy's face is like, please make it stop. The rival crime lord eats it. Flawless <laughs> victory. And Seagal becomes top dog in the criminal underworld in Cambodia. Why Cambodia? Who the f*** knows? It's a Seagal film. It's, it's disgusting! Back in his crime den, they celebrate being the number one gang in town. And of course, Seagal always has to have a lady by his side, about a third of his age. <laughs> now we're introduced to these two clowns, Budget Chris Pine, who's called Jack, and Sam. Their first world problems have led them to robbing banks in fucking Cambodia. Can we go now? Let's go! This is how easy it is to steal money from a bank. Bruh. They're in and out in two minutes. They get away on motorcycles with no police in pursuit. They scored a boatload of cash and then decide to cross the border into Thailand just after robbing a bank. What? You'd think there would be an APB out for two foreigners on motorcycles. Witnesses absolutely heard them shout at the bank. But Jack and Sam safely get across the border without any suspicion. No, God, please, no, no! Jack visits his haughty girlfriend in Thailand, and she's smoking. This shit eating grin says it all. He takes her back to his hotel and shows her the cash. You're crazy, you know that? Is it a happily ever after scenario? No! Shit is definitely going to hit the fan! It turns out that the money Jack stole belongs to Seagal, and he's pissed as hell. I want results or I'll take these Rose clippers and bury him in somebody's mother eye. Seagal's way more believable as a fat crime lord rather than an overweight special op soldier. <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. Jack makes the big mistake of depositing the cash, which are marked bills. It shows up on Seagal's tough guy's radar, who pays Jack a visit. That was a lot of money you took from the bank in Cambodia. I'm getting really mad now with this bullshit. He doesn't kill Jack, but instead plans to use him to rob more banks in order to pay his debt. I want to give you the names of the banks that you are going to rob. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Hottie's life is now in danger if Jack doesn't do what Mr. Tough Guy says. I own you. Meanwhile, Seagal's playing footsie with his barely legal girlfriend. Jack receives a call to rob a bank back in Cambodia. He realizes that he needs better guns for the heist, so he buys some firepower from Michael Jai White. You know, the guy from Spawn. No! White's here just to give the movie clout, but this is the only time he appears. Now we talking. Jack and Sam get to the bank and do their thing. You'd think the banks would beef up security, but this one's a complete joke. No guards, no protocols. They escape in broad daylight. What the fuck? Jack meets up with Tough Guy and hands him the money. 
but he's not done with Jack just yet. Hello, darkness, my old friend. The bank robbing duo continue to rob more dog shit banks. It looks like they're robbing the same bank. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Jack meets up again with Tough Guy and gives him the cash. But this time, Jack wants out. No, I need to know when we're going to be square. You'll know what I'm through with you. <laughs> He's not going anywhere just yet. While this is going on, Seagal's getting laid with his clothes on. What a freak. When Seagal's not chomping on Viagra pills, he engages in some deep conversation with his random girl of the day. This fish, fish is an important sentient being. What the fuck? Really? A fish is an important sentient being? Seagal, where can I get some of these special herbs? Jack and Sam rob yet another bank, but this time they're not so lucky. Wait a minute. This bank happens to be from the 20th century because it actually has an alarm button. The alarm is pressed and backup is on the way. Jack is stalled by this guy who tells him that this bank is controlled by Seagal, aka Siren Carey. This information is going to be useful later, trust me. The cops arrive, for once, and we got ourselves a firefight. They get away on motorbikes, but this guy is not letting them go that easy. Run, Forrest, run! What's up with the shaky camera? Keep it still, Michael Bay. This is no fucking porn identity. Yeah! Parkour guy's got some sweet moves. Damn! This guy deserves a raise! Bank robber and now murderer. Nice going, Sam! Back at Crime HQ, Seagal's finally catching on that someone in his crew is giving up the locations of his banks. Find out who the f rat is. All fingers point to Tough Guy. He knows which bank Seagal's money is stashed in. Unfortunately. Fucking unbelievable! The rat is right there! Seagal, stop squinting and open your eyes for once! Jack figures out that tough guy's working for Seagal, but stealing from him through the bank robberies. The commute? It's not working for me anymore. Maybe I'll tell the Seer and Kiri brothers. That you're the one that's been feeding me these jobs. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Jack has tough guy by the balls. So, they decide that after one last score, Jack is free. Freedom! But he hits a snag when Sam gets shot during a carjacking. Sam, don't fucking do this, man! This couldn't have happened at a worse time. How's Jack going to find a partner this late in the game? Jack's in a bind, but Tough Guy says the bank heist is still in play. That was my connection. Not just any connection, the Asian connection! Potty insists that she's the one best for the job. Well, you're looking at her. Jack's not sold on it, but later relents. Okay. I mean, yeah, why not? Put your girlfriend in danger. That makes total sense. Meanwhile, Seagal's taking things into his own hands. He interrogates his guy who was at the bank robbery. He's convinced of his loyalty, but just to be sure, Seagal beats up his fighters. A fucking lazy kick to the stomach is all it took. It's the big day for Bonnie and Clyde. This bank's got poor security as usual. Bruh. They just walk out casually. But at least the police arrive. Looks like the cops are finally getting off their asses. And they managed to tag Jack in the crossfire. 
Zagal's dumbass still can't put two and two together. I must be a dumb motherfucker because I keep putting my money in these banks. Oh no, you think? Just Man. shoot him already! Tough guy is the only one who knows where your money's stashed. This is no coincidence! Oh, f*** it. I give up. Tough guy outsmarts Seagal once again. Maybe he should be leading the crime syndicate. Tough guy knows that Seagal is closing in on him, so he's desperate to get the money from Jack. Okay. But he's hurt and has to heal for the night. Seagal decides to have his man take out Tough Guy. Tough Guy. Excommunicado. A rat's got no balls. They get into the least convincing fight ever. Right. He's got him on the ground and about to get shafted. But... <laughs> Tough guy turns the tables and throws him off a balcony. Damn! Jack sets up a meeting with tough guy, but he's spotted. Seagull gets word, so he sends his henchmen to get him. Shit just got real. They're face to face once again. Hey Jack, you look like shit. Now anyone can see that Jack probably has a gun concealed in that arm cast. How Tough Guy doesn't see that coming is baffling. Give me that duffel bag. Damn! And that's the end of this greedy fucker. He got hundreds of thousands of dollars and still wanted more. Just when you thought it was over, Sigal finds them and turns up the heat. Except that this has got to be the slowest car chase scene ever. Can't you go any faster? This is it! Honestly, a 10-year-old could ride a bike faster than that. Jack catches a break and blows up some steel drums. The cheap CGI telephone pole falls to the ground and blocks the road. God damn it. If you're thinking they've made it safely, you're dead wrong! Seagal's sausage party catches up with them. How are they there that fast? Jack is badly hurt and they have nowhere to go. Oh my god! He does the hero move and tells Hottie to get the hell out of there. You're gonna get out of here? And I'm gonna hold him off as long as I can. No! Please so don't do this! Please don't do this to me, please! Emotional damage! The boy goes out in a blaze of glory as he thinks about his life's choices. Looks like Seagal's going to skip using Kung Fu to fight Jack in this finale. I must be a dumb motherfucker. Come to think of it, Seagal took a step back this whole time and let his bit players carry the movie. Seagal, you son of a bitch. Jack finally bites the dust. His girl rushes to him, endangering herself. But Seagal doesn't shoot her and instead sets her free. Well, that's just f***ing great! Oh, thanks, Seagal. So what? Now you think that makes you a good person? No fucking way! You're still an overweight crime lord who can't kick above the knee if your life depended on it. Watching paint dry is better than this whole ordeal.